Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over three types of solutions for multi-step equations. And we'll focus on one solution, no solution, and an infinite number of solutions. So let's get started. This first example is one solution. And basically, you're going to have different coefficients and different constants. Okay, so let's look at this example. We have, first we need to distribute. So we get 4 times x is 4x 4 times 2 is a positive 8. And that equals, we'll distribute over here, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 3 is a positive 9. Now we're going to move variables to the left. So we're going to do that by an inverse operation. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. When we do that, these cancels and bring the 9 down. And then 4 minus 3x is 1x, and bring the 8 down. Okay, now we're going to move constants to the right. So in order to move the 8 to the right, we're going to do an inverse operation. Subtract 8, a negative 8 from both sides. These cancel, bring down the x, and x is equal to 1. Okay, again, one solution. So how you know that is you simplify... And then when you get down to this point, everything is a little different. Coefficients are different. Constants are different. So you're going to have one solution. Now let's look at no solution. And whenever, once you simplify, you see the same coefficients, but different constants, you're going to have no solution. So here, coefficients are the same. Constants are different. Okay? So I'm going to show... Uh, uh, solve it and see how it's no solution, okay? So first, I'm going to move the variables to the left. So do this by an inverse operation, okay? And notice that you everything cancels out. So bring down the 5 and bring down the negative 4. And so 5 does not equal a negative 4. So there is no solution. Now let's look at it infinite number of solutions. And with this, you have same coefficients, same constants. We first need to simplify, so we're going to distribute 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 2, I'll do this if this helps, okay, 3 times 2 is a positive 6, minus 5 equals 3x plus 1. Remember, the next step is we're going to combine like terms. So we can combine the positive 6 and the negative 5. So we have 3x, 6 minus 5 is a positive 1 equals 3x plus 1. Okay, so now we need to move the variables to the left. So we're going to do an inverse operation, subtract 3x from both sides. Notice they both cancel, but notice that you have 1 equals 1. So... Whatever number you plug in here, it's going to work out as a solution. So it would be called an infinite number of solutions. I hope that helped with three types of solution. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.